Hello, I'm Andy Teach, host of Andy's Awesome Adventures, and welcome to the Aria Resort and Casino in Las Vegas, Nevada. I've literally visited Las Vegas a hundred times, and today I'm going to give you my complete honest detail review of the Aria, so you can decide if it's a hotel you like to visit or stay at when you come to Las Vegas. I stayed here in early 2010, right after it first opened, and I've stayed here a few times since then, but it's been a while. I'm going to give you a tour of the casino, plus we'll take a look at the restaurants, the bars, the club, the pool, the fitness center, the spa, the salon, the convention center, the shops, and the free tram. Of course you're invited into my room for a room tour, and later on I'll tell you what I paid to stay here. So Andy, how did Aria get its name? Aria got its name because Aria is a focal point of operas. And the Aria is a focal point of city center. Uh, it's the only casino in city center. And what exactly is city center? City center is this gigantic complex that you see around you. So it's got Aria, it's got the Vidora Boutique Hotel, it's got the Waldorf Astoria, which used to be the Mandarin Oriental, it's a five-star hotel. It's got the Twin Veer Towers, which are the yellow towers. And then there's Crystals, which is at the upscale mall here. Now, before I give you a tour of the Aria, I'd like to thank my sponsor, AlertBot. AlertBot is a website monitoring service that gives you peace of mind while you travel. If your website crashes or your customers have trouble accessing your pages, AlertBot will notify you of the issue so you can quickly fix the problem. I use them for my own websites. AlertBot's clients include many top companies, including IBM, Sony, Disney, Chrysler, Travelocity, and MGM Resorts, to name a few, so you know you're in good hands. You can try this service for 14 days free by going to their website, alertbot.com. There's a link in the video description below. If you sign up for a monthly or annual plan with them, use my promo code, AndysAwesome20, to save 20%. Let's start our tour with my check-in where I was successful with the $20 trick. What is the $20 trick, you may ask? When you check in, they ask you for your ID and your credit card. You put a $20 bill in between, and you ask them if they can either upgrade your room, or in my case, can they waive the resort fee? But he did give me a $50 uh, food and beverage credit. This lobby sculpture is called Silver River, and it's an 84-foot cast of the Colorado River designed by Maya Lin, who also designed the Vietnam Veterans Memorial Wall in Washington, D.C. This is one of my favorite lobbies in all of Las Vegas because there are actually places to sit down. Let's check out the Aria Casino. It's one of the nicer, more upscale casinos in Las Vegas, and it has more than 150,000 square feet of gaming, featuring 145 table games and over 2,000 slot and video poker machines for you to lose your money, I mean for you to gamble. It also has one of the better poker rooms in Las Vegas. Now the main reason I come to Vegas is to gamble, but did you know that only 7% of all Vegas visitors cite gambling as their number one reason to visit Las Vegas? For decades my game was blackjack, but in recent years my game has been video poker. How did I do? This is one machine you don't want to play in the casino, the ATM machine. What this means is I lost more money than I thought in video poker. I cannot help myself. Oh, by the way, there's a $9 fee when you take out cash, just to add insult to injury. You can also gamble with the BetMGM online casino app, which is among the biggest online casinos in the US. MGM Resorts has the MGM Rewards loyalty program, you earn points when you stay, play, and dine at MGM properties, and at a certain level you can have the resort fee waived, get a free room upgrade, free early check-in, free parking, and lots of other perks. I haven't signed up yet, but I'm going to. The Aria does not feature any shows. Many of the other MGM properties have Cirque du Soleil. The Cirque du Soleil shows Arcana used to be here, but it closed in 2016. Before we see the restaurants and bars, let's check out the pool. The pool area is 215,000 square feet, and there are three elliptical-shaped pools. This is one of the main pools, known as the Yucca Pool. It's a nice size, and I like having the palm trees all around. The pool cabanas go for $400 on weekdays and $700 on weekends. The Sky Pool is for Sky Suites guests only, but in the winter it's open to all Aria and Vidara guests. 
What many people don't realize is that there are actually four pools here if you count Liquid Pool Lounge, which is the smallest pool at Aria and it's for adults only. It transforms into a day club with live music and DJs and is operated by a company not affiliated with Aria. It is open to non-hotel guests. There's an entrance fee for everyone of $30 to $60, but ladies are usually free before 2 p.m. and men can get a reduced rate before 2 p.m. Sorry I didn't film Liquid, but I was just too tired from clubbing all night. <clears throat> Aria has a lot of restaurants and they're not cheap. In fact, you may need to hit the ATM machine a few times to pay for your meal. Let me start with the two places where I ate. First is Salt and Ivy, where I had my $57 breakfast. Hey, this ain't no Denny's. It's located near the convention center on the second level promenade and they serve breakfast and lunch. I really like the decor inside and it's very relaxing on the outside patio. The food was excellent and my server told me not to order more food, which I was planning on doing because I had already ordered a lot of food that would fill me up. So he probably saved me from having a $77 breakfast. While my breakfast was expensive, I did use my $50 food and beverage credit to ease some of the pain. I would definitely eat here again despite the cost because of the great food and ambiance here. As I always do when I'm at Aria, I ate at Patisserie, which is an upscale French bakery. It's a sweet tooth dream. Look at that gelato, oh baby. The main reason I stayed at Aria, and I'm only half kidding, is for the Napoleons. Napoleons are French pastries made of layers of puff pastry, pastry cream, and powdered sugar glaze. Can you say sugar high? Here it comes, my Napoleon. Wait, where are the Napoleons? No! I think I'm going to cry. Note to Aria, please bring back the Napoleons. I'm now going to show you the more upscale restaurants that focus mainly on dinner. I'm including the hours and prices of these restaurants. The prices are for entrees only, not including side dishes, taxes, and tips. If you've eaten at any of these restaurants lately, please tell us how it was in the comments section. I hope you enjoyed the restaurant tour. And now, let's visit the most expensive restaurant in all of Aria, Starbucks. Okay, maybe not. But like most Starbucks in Las Vegas, you're probably going to pay about 25% more than you would at home. This Starbucks is located on the second floor promenade and is open 6 a.m. to 8 p.m. every day. And I really like its size and open air design. You also have a pressed juicery nearby for healthy drinks. Speaking of healthy drinks, Let's check out the bars.
it's time to go clubbing at Jewel. Yes, it's daytime outside, but it won't matter, they'll let me in. Let me in, let me in. I'm a VIP, damn it. I guess they're not aware that Andy's Awesome Adventures is here. Well, after almost partying all night, it's time to hit the room. So I wanted to give you a quick tour and review of my room at the Aria. And there's the Aria Express going by, which connects the Aria to Bellagio Crystal's Mall, a couple other places. Let's go to the top. They're twin towers, built at a 4.6 degree angle. So they look like they're bending over, which scares the hell out of me if I were at the top floor. But it's been around for many years, so I'm guessing it's safe. Over here we have crystals, the upscale mall. And to the right, we have the former Monte Carlo, which is now the Park MGM. But here's the room. So just a very nice. Now, the mini fridge I'm not even gonna open because if you take something out, you are paying for it, whether you want it or not. Here are two beds. I just need one. So it's a very nice room. Nice flat screen Samsung TV. But the cool thing to me is the bathroom. So here you have the sink, you know, which is all right. But you have this uh, private room for the bathroom, the toilet. A little privacy. But the best part is the shower. So it's a shower tub, but they are separate, which is nice. And we're gonna go in, check it out. So what I like about this is you can just sit during the shower, which is always relaxing. If you want to take a bath, you can. And I like the fact that this door closes completely. So not too much water is gonna get through here. Oh, one more thing. So, this happened when they first opened around 2009, 2010, is they were the most technologically advanced hotel, probably in Las Vegas at the time. And all you need to do, for example, is take this, I believe it's an iPad, and if you go to room controls, so blackout open. So Andy, what did I pay for this room? Um, I came here on a Wednesday, the first week of March. It was $194, that includes resort fee. If you came on a Friday night, it would be roughly $400. If you came on a Saturday night, it'd be roughly $600. It is the middle ground between the fitness center, spa, and salon, between science and superstition, and it lies between the pit of man's fears and the summit of his knowledge. This is the dimension of imagination. It is an area which we call the no filming zone. When your convention center has an east and a west wing, you know it's big. Aria has some shops on the casino floor, as well as on the second level promenade. But if you really want to treat yourself, you can go next door to the upscale Crystal shopping mall. From Aria, you can walk through the building to Park MGM or take the free Aria Express tram there. The tram also takes you to Bellagio. And now a summary of my stay at Aria. As you can see, the room is really nice, the casino is really nice, and they got you know tons of restaurants. Stop Andy, you're boring me. Let me just give you a quick summary of the Aria. I do think it's a top five Vegas hotel casino. Not in the same league as Bellagio and Wynn perhaps, but it's up there in many ways. The Aria is elegant, it's luxurious, and it's got a great vibe and buzz. The casino is big, 
and features all the table and video games you might want to play. It has lots of restaurants and bars to choose from, a nice pool area, including a day club pool, a nightclub, and top of the line fitness center, spa, and salon. The room was spacious and comfortable with a cool view and a great shower area. It features a very large convention center, some great shopping next door at Crystal's, and the free tram takes you to Park MGM or Bellagio. Aria is expensive, which is why I came here during the week. Bottom line, two thumbs up for the Aria from Andy's Awesome Adventures.